today you will be learning how you can make a special ability inside of Roblox Studio. Before this video starts, I want to demonstrate it to you guys. So here I am in my Roblox game. If I press E on my keyboard, I can see the dummy that is behind the wall. So 3, 2, 1, and E, as you can see, and I can see that there is a dummy behind this wall. Because this system allows you to see through walls with a little special ability. If I stand on the other side of the wall, I will be able to see these two. If I stand over here, you will see three people. You will see one over here and one over here. So three, two, one, E. And there they are. So if you want to know how you can make this special ability inside of Roblox Studio, then make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. So newbie, how do we set this system up? It is pretty simple. First, go to the description and there will be a link to a Roblox model uh, which you need to uh, code this system. So go to the link in the description, click on it, get the model and head back to Roblox Studio. Now that you're back in Roblox Studio, you got the model, congrats, you're doing very good. Now you want to, go, uh, you want to click on view at the top over here and then you want to click on toolbox. And then you'll see this beautiful toolbox full of assets and models, whatever. Uh, we don't need that. All we need is over here, we need to go to the four blocks. So click on that and you will see my models. Uh, if it's not on my models, just put it as my models. Then click on special ability newbie. Click OK. And now you have inserted the model. So this is uh, our little uh, model, uh, which we need to get all of this uh, working. So now you see credits, so let's go over to credits. We see Creeper Man for the script. Thank you very much, Creeper Man. And then I uh, recoded it uh, so it's more organized, but we can delete that. So we want to drag enemies. Uh, so if you go to workspace, you open it, you go to enemies, and then you drag it into workspace. And then start to GUI goes into start to GUI, like that. And now that is how you set up the system, but we're not done yet. Now we have to code it. We have to script the system. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing right now. Make sure you keep up with the coding. If you have any questions, join my Discord server down below and enjoy.
So that right there was all of the coding done for this tutorial. You are magnificent. You have done fantastic. Thank you for following this tutorial. Now we have entered the recap section and what this means, I will be explaining the code so you will learn something from it. Uh, if you want to and if you don't want to just skip to the testing section and then you will see that it actually works so in the script we are requesting some variables or um, services my bad uh, we need user input service to detect when a user put something in their keyboard like uh, if they press uh, t or y or u or m or n whatever h whatever we need tween service so we can move things or um, fade it whatever and we need lightning uh, so we can actually uh, so we can give some special effects. We need the camera too, because we're going to tween the camera to a little bit of a more cooler field of view position. You'll you'll see why soon. Okay. We need a cooldown because um, else you can spam the system. We are creating a little function over here, so we can easily just do tween camera and then the number of field of view, and then it's just the, the script will do the rest for us, uh, which makes it uh, more simple. Then over here, we check if you have uh, pressed something. And if you pressed E, and you're not typing, and you don't have a cooldown, then we will give you a cooldown. We will uh, clone our color correction, which gives a special effect to the player. Uh, we will give all the enemies uh, in the fo enemies folder a highlight so we can see them through the walls. And we will make sure that the... Um, we'll make sure that... Uh, um, the saturation or the field transparency, my bad, goes to zero, so we can easily uh, give a cool effect. Then we're gonna put your camera a little bit um, to the front, so you can, so it's like a cool effect. We're gonna play a little sonar sound. We're gonna wait three seconds before removing all of the cool effects. We're gonna set your camera back, and we're gonna uh, remove the cool uh, colors. And then after five seconds, you can use it again. So let's test it out uh, test this out right now so we're gonna uh, hop in a little game and before I actually do that uh, I just need to create a little part really quickly so part so you can actually see we can actually see through the walls so let's do this okay this is cool okay so now you only see these two and behind this one is also another dummy if I press E watch what happens three two one E Boom, and we can see this one over here. We can see him through the wall. Did you see that? That was actually pretty sick. So if we go uh, to the other side over here, uh, let's position ourselves. I'm going to stand right over here so we can see one, two, three. Three, two, one. Boom. One, two, three. We can see the enemies. So now we can go over here. Oh, yeah, there are two people all right over here. So let's check where this person is and boom. Oh, he's right over here. Hello, sir. So this is how you make a little special ability inside of Roblox Studio. This is really good for FPS games, games where you need to shoot, whatever. Because you can see the players through the walls. As you can see, if I go over here, I can see them. And then I cannot see this one. So this is really epic. If you did, in fact, enjoy the tutorial, make sure you leave this video with a like if you like it. And if you don't like this video, give it a dislike. Because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. And all I can say is that my name is Newbie. And I say, peace out.